All right, I made it my choice to actually show you how to do some more refactoring with this little uh, couple applications that we have here. So we are going to be fixing some of these things there. Uh, well, it's called refactoring. Once you're done with your application, then you want to organize some of the data into uh, modular pieces. So let's go ahead and do that. We have a couple pieces here that we need to organize. And we have uh, inside the MySQL folder there, we have login create. Here we will uh, like to put this into a function. It would be very nice to put into a function so we can call it from down here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Then we will jump into the read file and make sure that all the files are correctly uh, correct also and put into functions. All right. So all right, so this one here, this is the create. So this is automatically every time we go into the form, we put something in there and we create something for us, right? Well, we need to actually put, let it, let the user know that they're going to be creating something. In this case, the user is you. So we're just going to put a H1 here and call this create just to know. And a little class here from Bootstrap called Tet Center. If I can put this inside, that would be nice. Tet center. That is going to center my right, my form there. There we go. Create. So we know that that's going to create. Let's make sure the buttons there also. That says create. All right. More. There we go. So at least we know that. Now let's go ahead and put all this into a function. Let's just grab it from here. Let's just this whole thing we, we could actually grab the whole thing here this whole thing even if the if submit we can just grab it there and, and then put it into the functions and we can just put this all the way on top and let's just make sure that the function uh, this is going to say create rows that's the name of it we're going to put this into a function. Let's just wrap it up right here. And then we can grab the name of the function and go back to the create. Let's first, let's include it right here. Let's put the function here so we don't lose the, lose the, uh, lose any memory, right? All right. And let's do another include here for functions dot php all right and we can just call this here all right let's just use another one here and let's just call this we can call this anywhere we want as a matter of fact we can call it in the body if we wanted to I'm just going to call it here. That's fine with me. All right. I'll just t take that off. Go back to functions. Make sure we save it here. And we need to put that variable global in here. Hopefully, you're not getting lost here, OK? It's very simple stuff. Refactoring, you already went through the worst. All right. So let's go back to the create. And we are here. So let's test it out. Let's see if it works. OK. All right. So let's create Edwin DS. Let's just make sure there. And some password. Hi, Hi student. Create. Perfect. And let's go back and check. Perfect. So that's working. And that looks a lot better, doesn't it? Now, I want a message here that would say probably create or something like that, right? Every time we submit this file. So let's go back to functions and let's do that. So if submit, right? If submit, this goes through. All right. I want to create something like this is going to go through. So boom, boom. perfect. I got the query. Let me just condense this a little bit here. All right, just keep it separated for you. Actually, all right, all right. So what I want to do, if this is submitted, I want to say, um, and it goes through. 
if not result if if else just let's just put a message here if it went through we're just gonna say record created right record created that would be nice right there that should submit something that we understand let's go here on the login underscore create all right and let's just say uh, Raymond Fernandez Fernandez that's how you write it Fernandez I don't know about this don't write what I'm saying what I'm <laughs> writing okay and gonna create all right create and now we got record created right here you can even put some CSS if you want here okay we just want a little feedback saying that the record was created all right so hopefully that will help you out uh, when you are creating your little test application if you want to do that all right so now let's go to the uh, read page and let's make sure that we have read page we don't we just have this um, showing here but you could put this data into a table if you want and you can put the ID into one uh, column on the table the username into another column you can play around with those uh, fields we're not gonna do much here all right we're not gonna do much here so what about the update let's check the update all right so the update let's put a title there okay I think if it looks better if we put a title so let's go to the update one all right let me just make sure we have it in our working files there that's what I was doing and let's go to the form here and let's just say h1 update all right, and let's go to the functions. I think we have it right here, right? And then we're just gonna put a message, like just like we did when we created this. Else, and this would be in the update table, right here. Let's just paste that in there, and we're gonna say record uh, record updated. All right, let's go to the update file. All right, and we're gonna be updating number 13, and we're gonna say something like, I don't know, Mr. Mr. Basketball. <laughs> Put some crazy password here, and I'm gonna click update, and it's gonna say record updated. All right, cool. We come here, refresh, just make sure the record is updated, Mr. Basketball. Now let's go to the delete one. Let's go up here delete all right so yeah we do need something there all right so on the update we are good here we got all this and we don't need the offset here the if set we can include it in the function on the other side all right so let's first let's go ahead and all right let's go to the delete one it just fits the delete we're gonna take this if set out of here too all right so the delete one doesn't say delete so let's make sure it does delete and I think the delete let's just put a little class there to make it text center to make it centered text center perfect and that looks good let's just go to functions here we have the else let's just take it let's go to the delete let's just put it right here record deleted delete it and let's just get the if statement here right let's do that let's get that if we don't need it here just do it here All right, let's go to the delete the functions, and that was the delete one, right? Let's just make it here. Delete, put it right here. Okay, delete right here. All right, perfect. So that's working. Let's just delete this. Record deleted, perfect. Twelve, delete it. All right, so 
So, I mean, we're looking good. We can, we, we can take this off if we wanted to. All right. Or you can extend the function and just delete whatever records you want to delete. Depending, you can echo the values here if you want uh, by making that function select from users and echo the key. I mean, you can extend this and make it really nice. But anyway, we're not going to do that. That would take a long time on this course here. I don't want to take more of your time. That would be that would be probably an advanced PHP tutorial or course. So I think we are done here. Let's just double check, update. Let's just take this out of here. Let's just do the same thing we did we did with the delete. And take that out. Save it and go, come back to functions. This was the update. All right. Let's go to functions and let's do the in function update right here. Oops. And right there. Perfect. Update's good. All right. So we are good to go. All right. So if, if for those of you that follow this refactoring, great. Congratulations. You learned how to refactor some of the uh, data that we got here. And for those of you that um, want to see more refactoring, uh, watch the next video. If not, just jump into the next sections because you know what? I want to do some more refactoring here. I think this document could do a lot better than what it's doing right now. So if you want more refactoring, keep watching. Thank you.